Hey guys, it's Kelly from Keeping Money Jazzy, and we're here today to do my January budget setup. Now I actually filmed this video, so everything is already completed, but I somehow the footage was deleted. So I'm just here to just show you all what was done and the little things that I did not do, which was put stickers down. So we're going to get started. With all right, guys, so we're in my bi-weekly budget planner that I created. And this is going to be for six months of 2021. So let's look at it and get into it. So like I stated, it has already been completed. But at the of my bi-weekly planner, I have my reason for budgeting. I did not complete this. But I can tell you my reason for budgeting is to be able to no longer stress about money. And to be free to do whatever I want, whether it's go on vacation. That's my main main reason for budgeting and getting control of my finances is to travel. I haven't really been many places, really nowhere. So that's, that's what I really want to do is just travel the world and see different things, see different places, experience different foods. So that's my reasoning and my why for budgeting. And... Um, if you haven't checked out my 2021 goals, you can go and check that out. And then you can come on over to my January. If you haven't checked out, and for as far as my goals, if you haven't checked out my 2021 video, go check that out. You will see what I'm talking about in this video. So my primary goal for this year is to pay off my student loan number one and my student loan number two and also to focus on i'm sorry bump the camera and also to focus on saving for my three months of expenses my minimal or minimum uh, monthly expenses is about two thousand dollars a month so that is my goal is to get at least six thousand dollars saved up for just my expenses, but um, I forgot her name over at All oh My Goals. Oh my goodness, and I watch her videos all the time, but I forgot her name, but she saved up um, six months, I think three months or six months worth of her, like, worth of her income. And I would like to get to that point to save up the six months worth of my income and not just expense expenses, so I, won't have to really cut out like eating out too much or little things like that because I enjoy doing that so um I will get there one day but for now just focus on three months worth of expenses and like I stated to grant also lastly is to grow my small business here on YouTube I created this channel in October and I've been loving it and it's been fun and I've been watching the financial community for about five or six years and I just love it so to be a part of it is amazing and to see you guys watching I really appreciate it and for those who do not um have not subscribed please do so it does not cost you anything just click that thumbs up button and also the subscribe button as well to enjoy more content throughout 2021 so I went through my goals and that okay so next we're gonna come on over to, come on over to my January setup so I have my monthly goals I, I went over them already and but as a reminder for the month of January I would like to have a no spend month at least every quarter in the past, I have tried no spend month for months, like maybe the whole month, and it did not work for me. Or I tried two months to do it, and it never worked. So this year, I'm going to at least try to do a no spend month every quarter. Um, it doesn't necessarily be at the beginning of the quarter, but every quarter, I'm going to do a no spend month. So for the first quarter, naturally, I'm going to do January because we just came out of the holidays, and... I just want to just refresh and regroup and put extra money towards my um, student loan that I'm working on. 
so that's my reminder for myself and this this sheet is my monthly pay dates at a glance i would like to use this to keep track of my income that i make every month whether it's my full-time income or my side hustle income or other little income that i have coming in i want to keep a track of it so at the end of the year i will just tally everything up to see how much i made and put that into my spreadsheet and this is my monthly bills list it's just um how, the bills that i pay each month the due date the amount and if i pay them i will put a check mark out of check one check two or check three I am paid bi-weekly, so at least twice a month, twice a year, I get paid three times. And so as far as my calendar view, which is next, I am going to place some money stickers down on my pay dates. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys in a little. So in the month of January, I will be getting paid on January the 8th. I thought I had some more of those. Okay, I do. I don't really use stickers much, but I'm gonna try some. I just want to dab it up just a little bit, but still keep it simple. And I have my cell phone which comes out on the 31st of each month and and i don't have any stickers for the rest of the bills that i have but that's okay all right so now we can just move forward So I actually just placed two stickers down on my paydays on my pay days for January, which is January the 8th and January the 22nd. And my cell phone bill, which is doing 31st. And this bill payment tracker, it just keeps a track of that I actually paid it or I paid it through my debit card or my bank account or through I paid it through a credit card because I do have some things that automatically come off of my credit card that I pay, my internet, my cell phone, Hulu, some of those things come off of a credit card and I just pay the credit card off each month. So now we're going to get into the monthly budget and what I plan for the month of January. Okay. As far as my income, um, I think for January, I will bring you in a minimum of $2,306. And as far as my bills, my fixed expenses, I um, have my mortgage, which will be due for February. Um, it's $1,030. My home warranty, which is due on the 4th of January, and it's $43. My life insurance, which is due on the 23rd, and that's $30 and two cents. Hulu, and I'm sorry for the lighting. I am doing this when I get off, when I got off of work. Um, for Hulu, I have it's due on the 24th and it's $20.98. Um, and my gas and electric is due on the 25th. And I'm estimating about $100, but we will see what the actual bill is at the beginning of January. My student loan, it does not have a due date um, because they did extend the for federal forbearance until the end of January, but the original due date was the 28th. But I will be making at least a minimum payment of $225.68 to the loan that I'm working on. My cell phone bill is due on the 31st and that's $92. And my internet is not due until February the 1st, which is $145. So my total fixed expenses will be $1,686.68. So that will leave me with a remaining balance of $619.32. And for this month, I did cut back my groceries. I did take out my eating out and my spending categories because I am doing a no spend month. So um, for groceries, I budgeted a hundred. I budgeted a hundred dollars. 
For gas, I did 60 and for household, I did 30 And that will be a total of $190, which leaves me with a remaining balance of $429.32. As far as my savings, we will be saving for my rainy day fund, which is $50. My car insurance is always $100 each month. Um, my house maintenance, which is $20. I wasn't really focused on this last year, but this year I do want to put something into it. And here goes um, my challenges that I said I was going to do for the month of, for this year, which is also in my 2021 goals and savings challenges video. I'm doing the 100 envelope challenge and I will be putting $60 towards that. I'll be doing a $20 challenge by $20, $20 by weekly challenge which is $40 for the month. And I will be doing one a day challenge, which is $31 for the month of January. And that adds up to $301. So remaining, I have $128.39. And I will be putting $120 towards my loan number one, which is what I'm working on. And down here is just the monthly overview of what I spent. So my income is $2,306. My variable and expenses is a total of $1,876.68. My sinking funds and savings is $301. My debt snowball is $20. And right now I am under or have a total of $832 remaining, which I will leave in my account for my cushion. So that is it guys for my January setup. Um, again, I do apologize you didn't get to see me actually set anything up because I lost the footage, but I hope that you like this and um, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below if you're ready for January and if your budget is complete. And I would like to have a, I do have a theme for next year and my theme for myself is to live, laugh, and budget. And the reason I chose this theme is because I and my few friends also tell me that I, I am serious. And if, for those of you who don't know, I am an introvert. So doing YouTube and showing my face and showing private information is, is it was challenging for me. And I had to step outside of my comfort zone. And that's what doing this channel is is doing for me. I'm, I'm doing things that I didn't think I would, would do. So I want to live more in 2021. Despite this crazy year of 2020 and um, going through this pandemic, I would really would like to do some different things next year if possible. And so that is my live part for myself for 2021. And as far as laughter, I want to enjoy life and not be so serious. I'm not always serious. I'm, when, once you get to know me, I am goofy, I am funny, and I do play around, but it's it takes some time to get in there. And I want to loosen up a little bit to have more fun. And budget is just a part of something that I have been doing for many, many years. And that I don't see that really going anywhere. It's just expanding and evolving in that process. So my theme for myself is to live, laugh, and budget. And I would like for you guys to come on this journey with me um, of you know sharing my journey and getting to know me a little bit better because I would like to interact with you guys and I enjoy doing this and it's fun and it, it's, it's hard work, but I enjoy it. So till next time, live, laugh, and budget for 2021. And you all have a happy new year.